We all love the sound of money, and a $1,500 sign-on bonus sounds even better. That's right, Belicio Foods of Jackson is offering a $1,500 sign-on bonus to new employees. Receive an extra $100 your first six weeks, then $400 after day 90, and $500 after day 180. Don't wait. Apply online at BelicioFoods.com slash careers today. That's BelicioFoods.com slash careers. Come work for a company who truly values their employees. Come work for Belicio Foods. Show some love for the graduating seniors in your life with custom-made gear from Zip Printing in Jackson. Yard signs, banners, screen-printed t-shirts, and more. Zip Printing can do it all. Visit yourtotalmedia.shop to browse all of Zip's gear to show your school spirit for the class of 22. Zip also has everything you need for graduation parties like custom photo cards, invitations, and napkins. Call 740-286-3023 or find them on Facebook at Zip Printing Signs and Marketing. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I'm Jennifer. Oh, wait. I'm not Jennifer. Me and Jennifer switched places today. She's at home sick, and I'm here hosting the morning show. Welcome back, James. Thank you, Jeremiah. Glad you're, glad you're feeling better. Yeah. Um, I was happy to fill in for you while you yeah. were out, and uh, I'm here to do some news today, nice. I guess. Well, I got to give a shout out to Courtney and Jeremiah and Jennifer and Red and Phil and everybody that pitched in while I wasn't here the last few days. I appreciate it very much. I did not feel well, but I'm feeling much better today. So thankfully. That's good. Yeah. Good. So Jeremiah Schaefer, multimedia journalist, is here with us this morning. And we're going to be talking about all the big news from the weekend. We're going to be talking Wild Turkey Festival, or as we like to call it, the WTF. Um, but I have a lead story that I would like to lead off with, if that's okay with you, Go Jeremiah. For it. I would like to introduce everybody to Zoe Ruth Eirich. This is my new niece. She was born on uh, Friday morning. So I would like to introduce the total media Main Street TV world to Zoe Ruth. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uncle. I know. Uh, this first time? Second. Second. Yeah, so I, right. she has a three-year-old older brother. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure how he... I'm not sure how he feels about this whole um, situation yet. Yeah, yeah. it'll it, it'll it'll go. It'll be fun. Yeah. It'll, so your little boy just turned one, one. right? Yeah, that's yep. awesome. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a journey. A yeah. lot of a lot of late nights and uh, but a lot of like I, it just feels like uh, like you just keep moving along, you know, uh -huh. progressing and yeah. It's it's been interesting to watch him grow and develop and yeah. see things through his eyes. You I know, bet. all over that's again. Awesome. It's it's been fun. His his thing here lately. He likes to, he's been cla clapping. Uh huh. And uh, what else? He'll growl. Yeah. He's like a he sounds like a little dinosaur, just like like that, you know. So uh, it's 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 been fun just to see you know what he what he learns next. Awesome. And, I, not a whole lot of talking. Yeah. I, I've been doing a little high here and there, yeah. but uh, that's about it. Oh, that's gonna come soon. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be. He, he jabbers a lot. Yeah, it's gonna be It'll a lot. Just... It's gonna be a lot of jabbering oh, over yeah. the next couple of years for you guys. Oh yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, Jeremiah, you want to get into some news? What sure. do we got going on? Or All is, right. Or as Jen would say to Pete Wilson. Jeremiah Schaefer, what the heck's going on? Oh, yeah, that's that's right. So um, we're going to get into the, this is a little bit of an old news. Okay. It took me a little little while to get to All the right. video um, putting this together. But th this ran, I think, over the weekend or maybe it might have been last week's edition. Okay. But back on April 22nd, it was Earth Day. And here in the city, um, the Jackson High School... Uh, some students from there, along with the Jackson High School science teacher, Anna Siders. Um, she's got a club at the high school called YCAT. YCAT? YCAT. Like the letter Y or the word Y? The Y, yes, okay. the letter Y. What does YCAT. the Y stand for? So it stands for Youth Climate Action Team. Okay. So that, that team, along with her uh, environmental science class, uh, they started, well, they walked down from the high school to the middle school track. Okay. And then... That's where I, I was at the track waiting for them. Interviewed her, and then I followed the students and took pictures and video uh, while they cleaned up litter off the sidewalk and the curb um, nice. in downtown Jackson. Okay. So they walked from the middle school 
all the way down to Manpower Park, um, where a city official met them, picked up the garbage, thanked them for it, and uh, we got a nice little video uh, put together about that that okay. I want to show you guys. Right. So, Earth Day. Earth Here we Day. go. Earth Day is held each year on April 22nd. This year, some local high school students demonstrated support for environmental protection by cleaning up trash and litter along the roadside. Jackson High School science teacher Anna Siders, along with members of the Youth Climate Action Team, or YCAT for short, and students from Siders' environmental science class picked up litter in the city of Jackson on Earth Day, which this year was Friday, April 22nd. My name is Anna Siders, or Mrs. Siders as I'm known at Jackson High School. Um, I started the YCAT club which is, stands for Youth Climate Action Team, and today's April 22nd, which is Earth Day. So we are out here starting at the Jackson Middle School track. We're gonna take two different routes all the way down to Manpower Park. We're gonna pick up trash along the way, along the curb, kind of along the sidewalks and anywhere that might be a popular place for people to unfortunately throw things outside onto the ground. Um, we're splitting up into some groups. Um, we got our gloves on, we got all of our supplies. Um, the club doesn't just go out and pick up trash. We actually started a composting program at the high school as well. Um, and we've come up with some other conservation projects that we're looking to actually uh, introduce to the Board of Education so uh, Jackson can be more environmentally friendly. Siders and the students walked down from the high school to the middle school track parking lot. Once at the parking lot, the students put on gloves and had large black trash bags in hand. The students split up into two groups and walked two different routes through Jackson, picking up trash along the roadside and sidewalks. Both of the routes ended at Manpower Park. Uh, my name is Connor Ball, and we've been around the community picking up trash and other bad things that hurt the environment. My name is Cameron Arthur, and we've been walking from the high school all the way to the middle school and down to Manpower picking up trash. Once at the park, the students took a short break posed for a group photo and then following the short break the students were greeted by city of jackson head of department of services roy hatton he had brought a city truck to the park so the students could place the trash bags in the back of the truck the students collected about a dozen bags of litter from the city Hello, Mom. You're <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm randy evans mayor of the city of jackson this is roy hatton he is one of our supervisors, and uh, we're here today just to show our appreciation to the uh, Jackson High School students uh, who have been out around collecting uh, garbage and trash today, uh, celebrating Earth Day. Today's Earth Day. Um, I think it's called Earth Day, and uh, it's a science class I think from the high school. So we're just uh, we just appreciate them doing that, and uh, the city took the garbage that they collected for them. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's just great to see our kids out helping keep our one and only earth clean and the city of Jackson, of course. That was great. Yeah, man, it was good. They, they, like they picked up, uh, it was about a dozen bags and, uh, the city was very, very thankful nice. for their yeah, help. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. The, that's uh, a great. That's a great project. It was, and uh, Miss Miss Siders, she uh, she hopes to get the community uh, involved next time. Yeah, to go around and help pick up some trash, and uh, they got some other projects that they're working that's on. That's wonderful, school, man. So that that's, is what a great project. Cleaning up community like that. Yeah, keeping those kids out of trouble a little bit, a little bit, a little Maybe bit, being a little mischievous. Uh, but yeah, I yeah. Think, if I think you watch, a, I think it was in a good way. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you, you pay attention to the video again, watch it again. Yeah. You might see a little. Uh, little something funny there so all right what else is going on jeremiah uh, we're gonna head over to the village of colton okay um, i cover colton village council and they had a meeting on tuesday may 3rd and here you can see colton mayor kim milliken swearing in a new council member you have there that is shelly mitchum i think is how she pronounces her last name uh, her maiden name is welly and that uh, may sound familiar as uh, sitting there behind her, that is uh, Michael Welly, and he uh, resigned from council uh, recently and had asked for council to appoint his sister 
uh, in his stay. Oh, um, okay. He told counsel that he uh, stepped down, uh, had, some, had some medical reasons, mm. and uh, he had been, I, I was going to look back, I didn't have time this morning, but I'm going to look back for the story when I, when I write this uh, for the paper to see how long Michael uh, has served on counsel. I know okay. I was there when he was originally put on. Mm. Um, so it's had to have been some point in the last decade. Yeah. And uh, he served on for a long time. And uh, he said, you know, a few words uh, to counsel, thank them for the opportunity, and uh, hopes that his sister will be a, a good replacement for him. Nice. Um, well, best of luck to her. Yeah. Yeah. She's really excited about it. And uh, she she's attended. She usually would drive him yeah. to the council meetings okay. and uh, would sit there and... Uh, you know, she, so she's listened mm-hmm. to a lot of. Yeah, so she kind of knew what yeah, was going on. Yeah, so she was pr- a pretty good shoe in. Yeah, for, well, that makes for sense. That there, yeah, and uh, also up there in Colton, uh, we'll touch on this real quick. Um, they had a had an executive session towards the end of the meeting. Okay. that evening, uh, they were in for you know a period of time. Yeah, it wasn't too long. Okay, uh, we we all they kicked us out. We went and stood outside because it's just uh-huh. a one room yeah. there in the village village it building wasn't, it wasn't raining was it no it was not raining <laughs> thank goodness and it wasn't it wasn't too cool or anything but when they came back in from executive session um uh colton mayor kim Milliken um had asked for uh some raises okay for some of the uh, individuals on staff okay over there well that reminds me i've been meaning to ask jeremiah can i have a raise well i i don't control the uh, purse strings oh, you have to okay. talk to courtney about oh, that okay <laughs> I, I just saw my opportunity I, yeah. since you brought it yeah. up yeah okay. so courtney if you're listening <laughs> okay she's so. like you were here last week you're not getting a raise <laughs> all right so uh they they passed out some raises um they did announce what those are uh we had a uh, colton council clerk and fiscal officer cindy coon um she started a few months ago uh, took over, took over those positions okay. and has really got things, uh, sorted out. Um, I think it's like past her probation period <clears throat> and, uh, Kim felt like it was time to bump her up and, uh, she went to $14 an hour and, uh, Colton village administrator, Merle Morris, they bumped him up to $13 an hour and then the water sewer court cur- clerk, excuse me. Uh, Shirley Rowling got bumped up to fifteen dollars an hour. Okay, and then there was uh, one more village employee that they bumped up to, but my notes are at the house. So okay, I can't remember. It's professional what the, over here. Left yeah, yeah. It was uh, the house. It was there was a laborer that also received <laughs> a uh, an increase too. All right. So, all right. So uh, moving on. I, okay. Uh, associate editor Phil Buffington uh, gave me a little something here to talk about. Um, we're going to head down to Guy County. Okay. To Buckeye Hills Career Buckeye Center. Hills. And uh, we should have a photo if you want to pull it up there. There we go. Okay. So this was on Wednesday, May 4th. And uh, this was at Buckeye Hills Career Center where there was an announcement uh, involving a grant. It was called the Appalachia. Okay. It was called the Appalachia Impact Initiative Partnership Grant from okay. the Appalachia Regional Commission. The grant totaled $1.5 million. Yeah. And this grant will allow for Buckeye Hills Career Center to partner with some top-notch companies and expand its offering to high school and adult learners with uh, four new programs. And uh, this announcement, um, you had uh, Superintendent Jamie Nash. I believe that mm-hmm. may be him there at the podium i think i've met him maybe once or twice in the past yeah, but it's I, been a while looks like, him. looks like jamie yeah. there. we're looking at it from across the room so <laughs> yeah and uh, uh he was excited to make this announcement uh he was joined by buckeye hills career center board of education staff members uh, the career tech planning district partners local mm-hmm. state and federal leaders and uh school district superintendents um let me flip the page here. It says uh, there were over 200 applications for this grant, and only about 40 were funded. Wow, is what uh, is what Nash said. Uh, the proposal um, that was put forward to be viewed by other states and staff in Washington. I think that's and I'm, this is a this is quoting okay. quoting Nash. I think that stands as a tribute to what you are doing here today's workforce is changing very quickly 
and there are new career opportunities people need to be trained for. I'm proud of the work happening here um, that not only keeps us up to par, but is moving us forward. But uh, to talk a little bit about the four programs that they'll be able to offer. Okay. Yeah, where are um, they going to be? He touched, he touched on that. Um, this is the first program will consist of a commercial driver's license training complex. Okay. That will be constructed at the campus <clears throat> there at Buckeye Hills. Um, it says the Career Center's partner in this program is the Destiny Truck Driving Academy. Okay. Uh, the second and third new offerings will be a pre-apprenticeship program for heavy equipment operators and tech programs. Uh, the partner in this endeavor is the Local 18 International Union of Operating Engineers. Okay. And number four. Where is number four? The fourth, fourth program pertains to telecommunications. Primary partner for that uh, will be... Taylor Power and Communications. All right. So that's the four programs that they'll be getting down there yeah. thanks to this grant of one point five million. Wow. All right. It's that's pretty interesting. pretty nice yeah. for Southern Southern Ohio. And yeah. I know there's a lot of a lot of students from Jackson County and uh, I'm sure a lot of people go to Buckeye yeah. go down to lot, Buckeye Hills yeah. to get uh, certificates. Yeah. So interesting. That's good. Um so moving right. on. Arts Festival. Arts Festival, yes. So the uh, Jackson High School Arts Festival was held Thursday, May 5th and Friday, May 6th at the Fieldhouse. I went up, talked to um, Jackson High School art teacher Sean Gentry. Okay. And uh, also talked to the Best of Show winner up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we have a nice little video put together for that. All right. Well, let's go check that out. Art of all kinds, cornhole. And Italian Ice were featured at this year's Jackson High School Arts Festival, which was held on Thursday, May 5th and Friday, May 6th. Almost 500 pieces of artwork were on display. This year, the festival had an Alice in Wonderland theme. All right, I want to welcome everybody to the, the 2022 Jackson High School Arts Festival here up at uh, the Fieldhouse Jackson High School. We, we did an, an Alice in Wonderland theme this year for the festival, and we've got almost, almost 500 different works of art, drawings, paintings, uh, polymer clay sculptures, 3D prints that the students designed in the computer. The students and the general public and parents had the opportunity to check out all the artwork over the course of two days there at the Fieldhouse. So this was probably my favorite project we did this year. This was a collaborative effort with all of the fourth graders in, at the three elementaries in Jackson School District, whereas the fourth graders designed an original creature that my art students then recreated on paper. And then some of the students actually recreated the original animal designs in the computer three-dimensionally, and then we 3D printed some of the versions of the final animals, which you see painted here. Out of the 500 pieces of artwork that were on display at the Fieldhouse, only one received the top honor of Best of Show. My name is Rosie Markham. I am a junior at Jackson High, and I won Best of Show. This piece is called Empowerment. I started it in June of 2021, and it is not quite finished, but slowly it's coming together. <laughs> Last summer, I started getting more into feminism and women empowerment. Uh, a lot of women, especially people like me, I am a biracial woman. Uh, we're oppressed. We don't have a voice. Uh, this piece kind of shows that we are creative as people, not just as women and men, just people. That was awesome. It was really, it was a really neat show. I know um, Mr. Gent Gentry's been up Shout there. Shout out to that shirt he had on. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Dude, that was a shirt. good shirt. He always, uh, he always likes wearing some kind of shirt like that up there yeah. for the festival. Man, but, uh, he's he's a good, he's a good teacher, good guy, good instructor. Um, I've known him for a long time. Yeah. He used to be an art teacher up at Wellston for uh -huh. a little while, and then uh, when Mr. Eisenogle retired, he yeah. applied and got that Wonderful. position. So. That is such a great 
event. Yeah, yeah, it's really 500 good. Five hundred pieces. Yeah, almost five hundred wow. pieces. He said this year. So how many students? Uh, there was. I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to ask him. That's I know there awesome. was a big. Well, the, you saw the group photo. That mm-hmm. was a majority of them. Okay, that was there. That were winners. That's awesome. But uh, we'll in a future edition of the Telegram, we'll uh, have a story and then have a list of all the first, second, third place winners. Awesome. So That's we'll, awesome. That's we'll fantastic. Have that coming up here at some point. Kudos to those kids. Yeah. Uh, it, it went really well. All right. Are we ready to move on to the WTF? Yes. Time for the All WTF. Right. Wild I, I Turkey tell, Festival. Wild Turkey Festival. I got to tell a real quick story about face on Facebook that I saw over the weekend. So G- Courtney uh, was up working um, the uh, booth, and she uh-huh. she made a post on Facebook, right. and uh, they she had printed up little uh, little subscription specials, right. and on it it said WTF special. Yeah, WTF special. And uh, – she posted that and somebody commented on it and, and she's like, honey, I don't know if I'd be using um, that, that abbreviation. Yeah, right. And she's like, and you know, and then the editor, uh, Phil Buffett and associate editor, Phil Buffett and had to come on and say, you know, that stands for wild Turkey. Yeah. Festival. What do you think it stands yeah, for? The, yeah. And, and the, the, they, they, they're starting to embrace that WTF oh, yeah. up How there. Did you they not? got some t-shirts. I saw they had some t-shirts at their information bought, booth. I bought one of those. That's hilarious. That you could have bought, but it's, they it did. was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So awesome. the wild, wild Turkey festival, it ran a uh, Thursday, May 5th and wrapped up. Sunday, yeah. May, let's see what it would have been, May 8th. Yeah, a lot of uh, rain. A lot, a lot of rain. Careful putting your hand on the microphone, by oh, the way. Sorry. You'd hear that. <laughs> oh, you can hear it? Yeah. My bad. It's all right. That's all right. Um, Red, Red Thompson Jr. Jr. was up and uh, did a lot of the coverage up there. Mm-hmm. I was up there Saturday night, but I think we have some uh, video footage that Red took that we can show. Yeah, so um, on Friday night, of course, we had Jess Kelly Adams on the show on Friday. Mm-hmm. She performed on the sh- on the radio and then here on Main Street TV. She was really But then, really unfortunately, nice and- it stormed so bad that night, she didn't get to perform, which is, you know, like, hate, hate, to hate, that. That. hate, hate, to hate that, hate, hate that so much. Yeah, because uh, she's, she's really talented. Yeah, so she the is. way I understood is Ben Davis Jr., friend of the show, was her opener, and he got to play about three songs, and then it started storming so bad that they had to call the show. Okay. So uh, Red's got a couple videos here. Uh, we'll show... Uh, we'll show them both. We'll sh- this so first. This is Ben Davis Jr. performing at the Wild Turkey Festival. That I'm everything you hope that I would be Yes, I'm gone half the time And the other half you're crying Girl, quit your lying to me Well, I can't hold a job On account of my pride My bills never seem to get paid And I keep on my thinking About all of inside Don't want you feeling free what am I feel without you by my side Fixing all my problems for me But I can't keep it in, girl, I'm choking again All of my shortcomings Please don't tell me that you're lucky That I'm everything you hope that I would be Yeah, I'm gone half the time and the other half your time Please don't tell me that you love me But I'm everything you hope that I would be Yeah, I'm gone half the time Girl, put your lie in me Yes, I'm gone half the time And the other half you're crying Girl, put your lie in me Yeah, nah. 
energy that was that that fiddle player is something Dude, he else is good he is really good she Man. she was saying uh he he had been on and off uh with the band yeah there for a while and now i guess he's on with her nice full time that's now. awesome yeah so uh he, he's really talented they're all oh talented my and gosh. Ben, ben, yeah ben is so good ben is so but good. yeah that's so like disappointing that they weren't able to perform yeah I on the main stage them. like they'd planned to because yeah. of the weather and everything but you know, they got to do that little little impromptu performance in the tent there. So right, that, that's right. better than nothing, I guess. Yeah. Ho- hopefully we'll uh, get to see her again. Yeah, of course, she'll be back at the County Fair and Galapagos River Days this okay. year. Okay. Well, so good. that's a couple uh, opportunities. Yeah, a couple of local opportunities to see Jess Kelly Adams again. All right. And, of course, you can uh, find her music online. Hopefully Matt will get this some of these in rotation maybe. Play them That'd on, be cool. Play them on. Uh, That'd be cool. I know the one she played, uh, the one, the first one she played on mm-hmm. uh, Friday. I yeah. really liked it. Yeah, it's really good. I actually uh, downloaded it from my tape. Yeah. As she while she was here playing, it, yeah. I was like, I like this. I'm on download. Yeah, it's it, good. So. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how much she gets of that, but uh, I'm sure she. Hopefully, she gets something. Gets something. Yeah. So, uh, so that was uh, some some footage. So what else? So WTF? What WTF. else happened? So I was up there Saturday night. Okay, Saturday night. Uh, covered a few things. Moving on from Friday to Saturday. Day. Yeah, we had uh, we had the crowning of the 2022 mm-hmm. Benton County Wild Turkey Festival Queen and Court. Yeah, uh, you have on the screen there uh, getting crowned. That is Queen Lakin Williams. Okay, and uh, we also have another photo too of the rest of the court. Oh, that one's not coming up for me. Okay, um, but the rest of the court you had first attendant Ella Clancy. And then you had Queen, Lakin, Williams, and then second attendant, Bailey Williams. So there you go. Uh, from left to right, that's Ella, first attendant. In the center there is your queen. That's Lakin. And on the other side, that is Bailey. So that was the uh, three young ladies that were crowned. Congratulations, uh, girls. Evening. Yeah, congratulations. So uh, wow. had a little... Uh, Post interview with them. Yeah. Um, we put that up. And right. They introduced them. Hi, my name is Lakin Williams. I'm your 2022 Wild Turkey Festival Queen, and I'm just excited to see all the familiar faces and be a part of this journey. Hi, my name is Ella Clancy. I am your 2022 Wild Turkey Festival first attendant, and I cannot wait to travel with all with these lovely girls. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Bailey Williams, and I'm your 2022 Wild Turkey Festival second attendant, and I'm so excited to have a great journey with these girls. <laughs> 
man, I want one of those cloaks. Right? The, the, they look really warm. Why don't we have cloaks? I I need I needed one of those up there because yeah. as the as the evening went on, it got a little a little chilly yeah. Saturday evening up there. I can see that? Yeah. Um, so also during that, uh, the crowning, they had some other like, uh, special, uh, awards. Okay. And, uh, I, I'm there, there was a whole list of them. Um, I'm going to run those, okay. run those in the paper. All right. Um, but, uh, some of them came, well, I think all of them, all of them came with kind of like, uh, I, this is my first, l- let me step back for a second. So this was my first wild Turkey festival ever. Yeah. I, I've been doing journalism for yeah. a decade. Uh-huh. Uh, here in Jackson County, don't cover a whole lot of stuff yeah. in Vinton County. I know I was proud of you for going to Vinton County, and uh, so we I w- went to Vinton County um, and uh, covered some stuff up there. So this was my first uh, WTF, and um, anyway, uh, the, the some of the other awards that they gave out, I guess, came with kind of like mini scholarships. Uh-huh. Some were a hundred dollars, some were more, um, but we'll touch all that, touch on all those okay. in an article. Um, also. Saturday night, you had uh, Mr. Speed. Oh man, the Kiss Kiss tribute band, dude. And, that was uh, awesome. Had, we had uh, what was the gentleman's name? He was on Thursday, um, I think, last Rich. week. Rich, yes, Rich was on. Um, dude, and here was that. some of the crowd. Look at those fans. Yeah, so the the little girl right here in the front. Uh huh. Um, he brought her on stage. Yeah, that's awesome. At, before they got started, yeah, and took uh, took some pictures with her. Uh huh. And everything. But uh, th- there was several that had their that had their face painted up Man. like that, and here's Dude, look how freaking legit they look. I know the costumes were great. The costumes Man. were great. He I, said he spent three G's on his shoes. I think that's what he said. Yes, <sighs> on the on the shoes. Cust- I don't know, they're like cust- custom made. Had ass. All of them have their own tailors. He was we saying have too. To. Yeah, yeah. The, that's I, a lot of hot glue holding that together. I tell you what. Um, is the one the one I'm not very familiar with Kiss, uh-huh. but like, is it Gene Simmons? So is Gene, he the far? Gene's on the far right. Far right. The middle is Ace. Okay. And then I forget. The forget guy. the other ones. Yeah. Well, well, the one that the one that's portraying like Gene here. Uh huh. Um, I, I tried to get a photo and I missed it by yeah. just seconds. But he he um like breathed. Well, I didn't breathe fire, but uh-huh. like had the fire Still like spray. Yeah, yeah, and it was awesome. pretty. It was pretty. You could feel Man. the heat off of it, you know. Yeah, Courtney but, uh, sent me a text message Saturday night. She's like, "Mr. Speed's gonna burn down MacArthur." <laughs> they had they had <laughs> some uh, like the the shooting up the fire <laughs> the, the the I can't think of the word pyro. I uh, yes, the pyro. Yeah, yeah, shooting up and stuff. It was. I didn't stay terribly. I didn't stay too long because uh-huh. I had been there for about three three and a half hours, yeah. but. I, I, I stayed long enough to get a couple couple shots, but there was there was a pretty decent crowd That's up awesome. there. I thought for that, yeah, and, well, especially uh, considering the weather had been so bad the night before, right, right. And they got a, it got a, like I said, got a little chilly, and uh, there there was a lot of uh, a lot of folks I could see you know, mouthing along with a lot of the a lot yeah. of the songs and stuff, yeah. But uh, so you don't have a favorite Kiss song yourself? No, I don't. I yeah. I maybe if I asked, I probably uh-huh. could ask my dad if he had a favorite Kiss song. He he could probably yeah. Out, Was he in the Kiss Army back in the day? I I feel like he he liked he liked a lot of those older bands. Um, I I, I think he had like you know the Kiss I mean, days and Once Upon a Time. They were the newer bands, right? Right. That is right. And uh, you know he liked the Journey and mm-hmm. different stuff like that. All right, but, uh, right on. Anyhow, that that and they also had their Grand Parade, which okay. we may we we'll may show the, that. Yeah, we'll get to the parade in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll get that in a few minutes. Um, so then then Sunday, um, shout out to shout out to Courtney again, our fear, fearless leader. Yeah. Um, she was able to get us some photos of the first ever Little, Little Miss, Miss. Yeah. In court. Check that so, out. Uh, first time ever. First time ever that they've they've uh, crowned a little miss for the WTF. And uh you have you have up here on the screen the little miss and the court. And I'm gonna assume, which I probably should not do, but I'm going to, that in the center there, that would be your little miss, and that is Paige Robinette. I'm gonna say to the left is your first attendant, Adeline uh, Saunders. And to the far, far right in the light blue there, that is your second attendant, Angela Kane. 
Okay. And uh, usually, usually when they pose these photos, they kind of stand with the uh, older ro- royalty. That yeah. um, so in the back there, you have the royalty that I touched on from the day before, the mm-hmm. evening before. Okay. And uh, not sure, not sure the little girl's name there in the cream or the white. Uh, okay. But the, nice. that, that's, well, your, congratulations that's your that's your royalty. Those guys. Yeah, congratulations. That's awesome. Um. You know they'll They're forever. Be, they will forever be the first, first little Miss Wild yes, Turkey Festival. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And uh, they, uh, they also that afternoon they had the um, Little Miss Gobblerette, little, <laughs> and Mr. Gobbler, Mr. Gobbler. Yeah. So here you go. Here is Mr. Your, Gobbler, man. Twenty twenty two, Mr. Gobbler. Is, does he have an eye on his hat? I I'm not sure. I can't. Or is that part of the sign is. behind him? It might be might be a part of the sign. I think they're just okay. maybe standing. Maybe yeah. maybe it's just kind of raised there. I don't know. That's a good hat. It goes yeah. with that cloak real well. Oh yeah, yeah. I I, I sometimes see little little misters have cloaks, but this uh-huh. uh little this was Mister Gobbler Blake Edwards. Okay, and, and here's then <laughs> this little is, Miss Gobbler. Well, yeah, little Miss Gobblerette. Uh, this is a uh, Lakin Thacker. All right. Well, congratulations. Congratulations to, to them. the little gobbler. <laughs> yeah, I guess they. <laughs> I guess this uh, little Miss and Mister uh, Gobblerette and Gobbler. This is something that they've done before. That it nice. wasn't. It wasn't new. That's funny. And uh, but, but shout out, shout out to Courtney. She was up yeah. there, up there working our. Courtney uh, booth spent. A, I think Courtney spent a lot of time. At she the she did. Turkey yeah. Festival this weekend. So, uh, and I mean, a lot of you guys did. Yeah. Shout out to Matt McKee and yes, Rodney the guys and at JJ. The radio. Yeah. I mean, those guys were, I mean, they did remotes of the Wild Turkey Festival all weekend, but they were also at what, Jerry's Dude Center in yeah, Wellston. Yeah, for uh, like an, some type of anniversary celebration Man, so I those, saw. So those guys were really working hard this weekend. So shout out to those guys. Right. Big ups. Yeah. But especially Courtney was there a lot. And you were there a lot. Red was there a lot. I yeah, Red Red out of, out of the staff. Red was up there the most. He he was up here Thursday, Red Friday. Red would have been there the most had he not. Oh uh, yeah, if he didn't work Red, here. Red though. likes Red likes Red that loves wild turkey like community festival. The, community festivals. He like does. This. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he does. Big shout out to Red. So always being willing to be at that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. So that uh, I, I'm sure there was some other stuff mm-hmm. um, that went on, but uh, we should have some coverage from the uh, Wild Turkey Festival. Nice in this upcoming uh, edition. Gonna, I would are we going to do like a full? section or do you know uh, i'm not sure okay. i'm not sure what they have budgeted um i think i ever heard maybe some pages set aside for that nice but i'm not sure the Very extent cool. of how many or anything okay like that. all right well, we'll find out on wednesday I guess. yeah we'll find out on wednesday yeah um i know that's Phillips. of course uh saturday's paper had the queens and all that in it too yeah 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 so, so if you were a wtf fan and you didn't pick that up grab it right all right, so and then of course the festival wrapped up with a big parade. Well, this this happened Saturday Saturday evening. Okay, they had the grand parade, and uh, I filmed it in its entirety. Okay, and uh, it was it was longer than I expected. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's up there with well, some of the let me guess some of the other ones. Were there police cars? There was yes, fire trucks. Oh yeah, several queens, queens. Yeah, uh, twirlers. I didn't see any. Yeah, you know, oh, I didn't see any okay. twirlers. All right, no twirlers. All right, all right. So uh, we we do do have that. For okay, you guys. Well, all right. Well, we will end the show today with the Wild Turkey Festival Grand Parade. Thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully, Jen will be feeling better tomorrow. Pete Wilson is still on vacation. Uh, we'll hopefully, have him back later in the week. But yes. we'll we'll see what we can do. There's a Porter House. Having, I don't know, I think he just threw his back out again <laughs> on the radio. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Thank you, Jeremiah, yep. for joining me yep. this morning. No problem. Thank you guys for working so hard at the Turkey Festival this weekend. Uh, so again, here is the Wild Turkey Festival Grand Parade, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.
There you go.
I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this live coverage out here at the Wild Turkey Festival. That was the Grand Parade down here in downtown MacArthur. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Reporting for the Telegram on the telegramnews.com. I'm Jeremiah Shaver.